Hello and welcome from Silzemos, which is to the north of Munich. It has the largest collection of used motorhomes in Europe. And I'm going to show you just now this one here, which is a Deathless Globus T11. And of all the vehicles I've so far seen, I think this is the most interesting. The reason for that is, first of all, it's got a, a price, uh, 33,000, uh, which is relatively interesting. Uh, it's got 83,600 on the clock. It was uh, first registered in March of 2012. It's got all of this equipment uh, which is uh, up here, which I won't read out now, claims to have a payload of 754 kilos. It's 215 centimeters wide, 262 high, 628 in length, and uh, I see 130 horsepower. Right, so uh, let's let's go inside. Don't we got that? Um, payload thing from but the payload is I would hope in this condition I don't I, I don't know um, I said that if it's 700 kilos then really there's not a huge amount to worry about so low profile model a model I have never seen before so certainly never filmed before it's uh, of course filmed the other the other Globus this is Globus T1 in fact our Globus T1 it went up uh, on the site about three nights ago right okay so coming up to, to the front round here obviously these two chairs will turn round it does I think have a uh, look to it which somewhat represents its age or even older vehicles that's that's my opinion I really don't know anything about style one thing I would have to note though is this you've got a step up here and to get into the bed at the back, you're going to have to use a ladder, which comes with it. This here slides across. Good, I'm glad that was working. And it's shelves inside here. And uh, you could also, you've got a thing up there. Oh, you can see that there. I, I can't see it, but it, it comes up on the screen. You've got a, what do you call it, a bar there to hang your uh, clothes on too. Right, look at the back here. Number of death lefts vehicles of this age do have this sort of this uh, for, sort of R-like shape to the, the mattresses. So let's hope the mattresses don't go sometime in the future. It's also got this going all the way around. What's that there for? Anyone know? Do you know? Uh, put, okay. Put your answers down here as well. It's like a skirting board. Well, if you, well, there's that sort of decoration in the way. Don't know, anyway. Got any ideas? Write it down. It's not for the curtains. The curtain, the curtain goes there. Okay, they're, they're called a gourmet centre. Today, I thought when we called that in their big vehicles, a gourmet centre, that's another word for kitchen. I think this this actually the kitchen unit it this thing above it is is somewhat uh, somewhat unusual anyway let's uh let's go inside here and now the color uh, so somewhat does betray its age uh what we do have though is that this thing here this thing, this comes backwards and forwards I had it behind that which was somewhat similar and uh but, 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 in my van, I didn't have this thing here. The, uh, uh, I could actually wash myself without having to put the, um, the wall backwards and forwards. Does the wall turn, turn yellow with age? Or was it originally in this colour? I would have to say, I think it was originally a colour like this. The reason I suggest that is because it's, it's all uniform. But, hey, well... Or well, maybe it's not all the uniforms, it's a bit whitish up there. Anyway, if you've got any thoughts on that, uh, do write them down. Obviously, it's got it's it's priced for an older vehicle. One which these things have stopped working. Oh yeah, there you go.
One thing I think you'd find today though in a vehicle like this is you'd find it a bit higher, you'd find it with a double floor and that obviously comes with the appropriate price. It does look a little bit like uh, uh, something you go into you know, in these old houses or something like that. Not the sort of feeling, the stately homes. And um, that's how I feel a little bit looking at this. I'll show you this if it were open. Okay. Right, so we'll work our way down. We'll have a look at a couple of others. Traummobile. Traum means dream in German. Dream vehicle. Well, we don't know what it's going to cost, so hey, well, I'll have a look and see if the doors open inside. If, it's, if the doors open, we'll go in. If it's locked, I won't. So there's that. You have to just just dream about that one because we're not going to see it. Here's a uh, Hobby Optima Premium, sixty-five thousand euros, June 2019. Well. Hard to think of this as anything other than a new vehicle. In fact, you can see some. Of, oops, see some of my film of this vehicle at Stuttgart from last year, 2019, or indeed Dusseldorf from 2018. This is absolutely a new vehicle. An unfair comparison, I think, of the two. Let's see what see what else is around. Maybe there's a fairer comparison to be made. Sunlight T57, 33,000 euros. This one here is from September 2012. I think that is a fair comparison. A vehicle of a similar shape. And indeed, internal appearance. don't see tables like this anymore, long ones. Those sort of got this extension bit, the extra extension. Admittedly, and you know, if you look at it like this, you think, well, well, you know, trying to get through here into the front, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit of a squash. Mm. Now, in some of the more, I shall say, refined versions in the Heimer Group, we have to pull out steps and not this ladder. All right, this is also gone a bit yellowish inside. Mind you, this, this shower unit, which I always feel is going to, is likely to break easily, is still there. Uh, is still there. All right, so there you've got a fair comparison: the death lefts or the sunlight. Let's see if we've got the. Uh, Uh, by the way, if you ha if you want, if there's any vehicle which is filmed, don't ask me for it. I'm not in sponsor for selling it. There you've got the details there. There's the company. There's their website. And uh, there it is. Right, September 2012, I said that. 60, over 68,000. Don't know if I said that or didn't. And there's the equipment. All right, 33,000. Let's have a look what else there is. Okay, Nevada, Miller Nevada T-51. 
Now this is a uh, cheaper brand. This was June 2014, 52,000 on the clock, 38,000 euros. Don't see many of these on the road at all. It's outside of Germany. And even in Germany, don't see many of them. First thing I noticed, there's a step up there. It does give a feeling of space, despite the lack of a, uh, a, a window up there. It looks a bit more like a hobby van, I would say, inside. There's a big step there. But, 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 isn't this a wonderful uh, bedroom? You know what? For the bedroom, I think I'd be... I think I'll take this one here. There's the garage, which seems to be coming out okay. Oops. Try and focus and it comes out worse. With this brand, Miller, I can't even say anything. As far, nobody has ever said anything to me, either about its quality, their opinions of the vehicle or any I, I just don't know anything about it so uh i'm gonna i know it disputes the things but that's that's it plug in there albeit only one You can close this off here. It's better when you can lock it. I don't see where otherwise that thing's gonna that thing's gonna rattle. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it's the same as mine, I think. Only mine's covered in dirt. So this is the place I'm at. Uh, they've got the address there, freistadt slash rent dot de. I wonder if some of these vans uh, are also ex rental ones. Although, would one would you take a uh, ex rental off the market with only seven thousand kilometres, as some of them have, or less? Right, so we can see from the, the garage from the outside, it's pretty large. And so we we'll come back up here, right? So 730 long, 285 in height, 230 in width, and uh, uh, one previous owner, 52,000, as I said, on the clock. I think of the, uh, the ones I've shown so far. I think that that would have to be uh, in the lead. This one here is from PLA, um, which I believe are manufactured in Italy. Mr. 550, never filmed this before, 42,298 in height. Good standing height you'd expect from that, 232 width, 684 in length. 14,648 in the clock, and it's got this equipment up there. That's the important thing, of course, 42. And, uh, Let's see if I can get in. Well, the first thing that strikes me in here is that this has got a lot of space. We've got a bed up there. The bed here is very high at the back. Huge amount of standing space in here. I mean, if you're particularly tall, this might, you know, it's the sort of thing you might want to think about. Um, oh, 
I've never seen in such an old, old in inverted commas, uh, this um, this sink in such an old van, manufactured by Can in Italy. Yeah, and even st I'm standing under the bed now, and I've got a huge amount of uh, height above me. Yeah, nice fan, nice fan inside. Servus, servus. Right. Okay, T640, 35,000, 57,000 on the clock. Sorry, it sort of puts my train of thought off when people speak to me. Side bed van. Suitable if you get a little bit older, or you can still manage to get past the toilet, okay. Stack of storage in there. Heimer Tramp 614, 39,000. It's got 93,000 on the clock. It was first registered in April 2012 and it's got all of this equipment. As it's a Heimer, I think, wow, oh, this might be the most exciting one of all. Right, that's good. We can see how the extra bed can be made. Nice start. I don't know if that was at, it, it was an extra which came with it at the time of purchase, or that was something worked out later. There's a number of companies, including Heimer um, and others, uh, which are offering sort of things like this today. Right, so which one would I have picked of the ones we've seen so far? Well, I'm afraid this is a Heimer and uh, I shouldn't be persuaded by a brand name, but in this case, I am. <laughs> More than the Miller, although the Miller had a nice layout inside, didn't it? Is there any difference from the way they actually built? Don't know. See something something wrong there. I can see this is at the wrong angle. Yeah, it needs to be needs to be tightened it below. But anyway, that's a that's a minor thing. Yep, particularly nice. Oh, this looks like new. Ninety-three thousand kilometers on the clock. Now my van has now got one hundred and fifteen thousand on the clock and I live in the thing and it's 20 years old. Admittedly though, of course, I've only had it since 2014, so that's like five and a half years. And it, so in the time I've had it, it's done 50,000 kilometers, approximately, just under. So let's say that's more or less 10,000 a year. So this, it's almost as though this has had, had more use than mine. But I mean, here that looks absolutely fantastic. I think. Anyway.
Right, I'll just show the garage actually. I don't know. No, I'm not going to get in. Um, I think you can. It's locked. See so that from here, it's locked. Uh, exclusive line. There's the details once more. Yeah, very nice van, this one. Okay. Deathless Advantage T6611, 40,000 euros. Um, this, oh, it's even older. Uh, July 2010, it's got 42,000 on the clock. Oh, have you seen a, ever seen a kitchen with such a wonderful display? Is it all the gourmet centre? Gourmet centre. Got these seats in as well, which I think are from what's the name of the company? Agudi. Um, well, I'm always saying to people not to buy new, to buy used. And I think here I've got some very nice, uh, nice vans. Oh, and a, a La Strada Avanti. Now, this is absolutely unfair comparison. Avanti M, um, 35,000. This is a camper van. But uh, as it's here, uh, let's see if we can get in. It is unfair. It's an unfair comparison, of course. Yeah, I think we'll have to come back and have a look at this in some more detail in another video. But, 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 I do, I do want to have a quick look at this. And, uh, no, I'm not going to have a quick look. There, there's, the, there's the toilet. We'll start to look at that one, okay? I'd like working in a place like this. Let me see the, the vans at a, um, a, a trade fair and think how they manage to get them so closely together. This is an Esprit integrated, I think 77,000 euros. Yeah, maybe I'm going, that's, an, that's a totally unfair comparison. I think it's an idea of some of the other stuff here. Heimer B580 Starline. All right, this is curiosity. <laughs> so, it's, oh, well, it's curiosity and it's, and it's closed. But it's 73,000 anyway, so it's an unfair, it's a totally unfair comparison to make. I'll have to go through here, I think. Go back between the... Uh... Okay, well, here we've got some over cab models. This is Chausson Flash, 56,000. Uh, I've got a couple of sunlights. I've got a death lifts which you might be able to make out. I need to point out, and this has to be very clear, 
is that I have no financial benefit whatsoever from anything that's here. If you buy anything that breaks down, it's not my fault. I am only responsible for doing the film, not the uh, anything at all. So please bear that in mind. Also, if, uh, if you must contact not me, but the uh, the company concerned. And so, right, so that's the thing I started off with half an hour ago. And I uh, hope you found that of interest. And if you did, please uh, do consider subscribing. And oh, before I do this one, I'll show you. Just show you how many there are. And this is just a small, a small part of what is here. So all of all of under uh, under this, and uh, again the other side there's another park over there. <laughs> um, the, it, apparently, it's been 15 and 20 million euros worth of vehicles here. Uh, that's what I heard. But you imagine if there were a fire or something here, then what that would do to the uh, value of uh, motorhomes in, in in Europe. You know, in the film Goldfinger and in the book. Uh, slightly different in the book and in the film. In the film, this is what most people have seen. In the film, Goldfinger. Goldfinger has the idea of uh, exploding a particularly nasty uh, nuclear device in Fort Knox in order to make his gold reserves go up in price. Well, imagine a uh, similar thing, camper vans. What would happen if somebody did the same thing here? Anyway, there's a thought for a future film but for the moment, this is me in Sulzemos, Germany, Bavaria, signing out.